The following videos are for information only and they're not meant as a substitute for working with aggressive dogs uh, without the experience and knowledge of professional uh, dog trainers or behaviour consultants that use positive reinforcement when they are working with their dogs. So following on from classical counter conditioning as a treatment protocol, we've now got operant counter conditioning as a treatment protocol. So operant conditioning is learning by trial and error. Okay, It is to do with the dog's behaviour, what the dog's actually doing. So for... Let's go back, let's do um, dog dog aggression because that's the one that, that we've been doing so far. Okay, so we've got dog dog aggression. We have, you're walking, you do your setup, and you've got your dog on a lead, and I'll let the stooge dog appears. Okay, the second your dog sees the dog, we now click the dog. Okay, now what we're doing is we're clicking for what the dog is doing. Okay, it's similar to counter condition, classical counter conditioning but it is different because what we're now training the dog to do something rather than just making an association. We get the benefits from classical conditioning as well if we do this properly, but it's to do with what the dog's doing. So your dog looks at the dog, click, treat, looks at the dog again, click, treat, looks at the dog again, click, treat. The dog now learns. It's pretty cool when I look at other dogs because good things happen and you're now reinforcing that behavior. You're also reinforcing the calm behavior, okay, the non-reactive behavior. The dog's sitting or standing looking at the other dog, okay? It's to do with what the dog is doing. The other one that you can do is um, you train a behavior beforehand, okay? So you train something that the dog cannot do while it's eyeballing another dog, okay? So it can't do the two of them together. So uh, mutually exclusive behavior or, yeah, you train something that the dog can't do at the same time. So what we would do first for that is we would say treat uh, so we would train the dog to sit in front of you and watch you. Okay, so you train eye contact. So you train that well, well beforehand, okay? Well beforehand. And what you now do is you expose your dog to the scary dog at a decent distance. And when the dog offers that behavior, you now click and treat. Okay? Sees other dog. You wait, the dog looks at you, click and treat, okay? So what we're now doing is we're training the dog to do something else in the presence of another dog. It could be eye contact with you, it could be turning back round towards you. Now, when we're doing operant counter conditioning, what we want to do for that is the cue to do the behavior is the presence of the other dog, okay? So what we do is, say we train a watch me, okay? So we'll say, Benji, watch me. He looks at you, click treat. Benji, watch me, click treat. We now train that out with the presence of another dog. We now expose your dog to another dog. He looks at the other dog, and as soon as he looks at the dog, you now cue the dog to look at you, okay? Because he's had such a, a good history of, this being, of being successful at this, this is a good thing for him to do. He associates watch me with good things. The, the dog now predicts watch me, which now predicts good things, okay? So what happens is if you do this properly and with care and patience and consideration for your dog, you're walking down the street, your dog sees another dog and immediately looks at you, okay? And we now reinforce that. So that's operant counter conditioning. It's to do with what the dog is doing. And if it's done well, it's a really, really cool and successful protocol to use, operant counter conditioning. Any questions on any of the information that I've given you here? Um, stick them in comments if you'll do and I'll do my best to answer them we can have a, a chat about it okay and thanks for watching